This is Good News Reflections from the Lakes Church here in Wapaka. My name is Bruce and for today we'll be looking at Matthew chapter 9. As always, I would encourage you to read the entire chapter. Chapter 9 documents a number of miracles that Jesus performed and also the calling of Matthew, the tax collector, to be one of his disciples. All very compelling, but for today I'd like to highlight the final verse. Verse 37 reads in the NIV, <clears throat> The workers are few. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news about the kingdom of God, and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, this is the key, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers, onto his harvest field. Now I'm a fisherman of sorts and one of the old adages of fishermen is that 10% of the fishermen catch 90% of the fish. I could only hope to be one of that 10%. But I think Jesus is indicating the same might be true in the church when he says the harvest is plentiful but the workers are few. How many of us attend worship for an hour on Sunday morning and call it good? God provides opportunities for us to become workers all the time. Be it an invitation to attend worship at the lakes or a welcoming conversation with a visitor before or after church. I often find myself recognizing the opportunity to share Jesus only as an afterthought. The final line of verse 37, Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Let's pray that the Lakes Church is known as a church of workers. Help us to recognize the harvest field because Jesus states it is ripe and it's all around us.